Welcome back to Order 16 development tutorial videos. So in this video, let's see how to show warning or error messages in Order 16. There may be some cases where we need to show the users some warnings or error messages. This may be used to prevent the execution of a running program. In order, there are different types of exceptions. Some of them are validation error, access denied, access error, and user error. So let's see each one in detail and check how to raise these warnings by code. For that, let's go to the contacts module. Here I have already added a new field in the model restored partner that is date of birth. Also, I have added the field in the form view as well. So on creating a new partner record, let's raise some error or warning based on the field date of birth. Thereby, we can prevent the flow of a new partner record being created. For that, we have to override the create method of the model restored partner. So open PyCharm and here I have a custom module called partner date of birth and inside the models directory, I have my python file called rust.partner in which I have already inherited the model rust.partner and also added a new field date of birth. I have also supered the create method for the model rust.partner. So here we have to add the condition. So let's raise the error or warning messages if the value in the field date of birth is empty. For that, we have to iterate through the vals list. And we can check if the field value in the date of birth is empty. So for that, we can add the condition. If this condition is true, then we can raise the warning. So we have, first we can check the validation error. So validation error is returned when constraints that have effect on the given record fails. For an example, trying to create a new user login that already exists in the same database. So in this condition, in this case, we can raise uh, the validation error if there is no value in the field date of birth. So you can just search for the validation error. So I'm just copying this one and I'm pasting it here. And we can change the message shown. So we can show that date of birth field cannot be empty. Now we have to import this validation error. So you can just search for that. And I am copying this one. And I am pasting it here. And also I am removing the unwanted things. Also I have to import this since I have used the underscore here. So we can restart the service and uh, we can just try to create a new partner record. And I am leaving this field date of birth is empty. and saving this. So here we can see the validation error is raised and the message is shown as date of birth field cannot be empty. So this is how we can 
raise a validation error so like this we can check how to raise access denied warning so you can just search for access denied and uh, i am just copying this one and you can just paste it here so this message will be shown for the warning now we have to import the same one this can be imported from order exceptions so we can just import it here and uh, just restart and try to create a new record now we can see the access denied warning here likewise we can raise a access error so access error can be raised when access to the data is restricted for the user so in this case just uh, see in the same example so we can just um, rename this access denied as access before that we can just import it from the exceptions and we can use it here can just try to create a new record so you can see the access error is raised likewise we can raise user error so user error uh, we can describe as when the user try to make an update on a record that doesn't seem to suit the current context of the record then user error is raised so we can just see in the same example we can import user error and we can just erase the user error with the same message create a new partner record And on saving this the user error is shown so let's try to add a value for the field and uh, try to save this so if uh, there is a value in the date of birth the execution is not blocked otherwise it is blocked by the warning or error messages so this is how we can raise warning or error messages in order 16. Hope you got the idea about this. Thanks for watching.